So it's Thanksgiving morning. In Queens, New York. Seven train, you can hear running right now, I'm sure. Thanksgiving, the biggest meal of the year for most families. There's gonna be a lot going on. There's gonna be a lot of people in the kitchen. It's gonna be a beautiful day. Hello. Hello. This is the first time I've ever done Thanksgiving for the family. It's his rodeo this year. I think we actually have nine hot dishes today for Thanksgiving, which is fairly ridiculous. People are intimidated by doing Thanksgiving. You're doing a lot of different dishes. The prep list itself is probably the most important thing in preparing one of these larger intimidating meals. You can put together your menu and your ideas and your recipes well before Thanksgiving. So you're gonna have a lot more time the day of the event to relax, to have a beer with someone who you haven't seen in a little while and they're coming to your Thanksgiving, to be able to sit down and enjoy it. It's all in the prep work and the lists, writing lots of good lists. We've done a lot of the prep to make today easy. That doesn't mean that my mother's still not nervous. Right, Berta? Right. I'm afraid that things aren't gonna come together all at the right time, and that we're gonna forget something. How many we Thanksgiving always... disasters have you had? Not many. <laughs> How many Thanksgivings have you cooked? Many. <laughs> it's gonna work out. It's gonna work out, That's and right. it always does. Whatever happens, I'm ready for. I love you. The second wave of family has started to arrive, yes. I'm one of Coleman's brothers, Steve. The number one question that I get about Thanksgiving is about the turkey. What mode to use in their specific oven, time, temperature. In this case, we're gonna be using Convection Roast 350. I really like the flavor of using a roasted garlic herb butter, so I make that one or two days ahead of time. I also like to roast my turkey with vegetables underneath, and I have that prepped up one or two hours ahead of time. Put the turkey in the oven, Using the temperature probe, I set mine for 178 degrees and let it go until it's done. There's no basting required. There is no covering, no uncovering. You wait till the oven tells you it's done, you pull it out, and it's gonna be a beautiful bird. Okay, yeah. Turkey's okay, just about to come out of the convection steam oven. That's the best part right there. <laughs> Everything's coming up roses, as they say. I think we, we cook a little bit differently. We definitely cook differently. He's a little fancier than I am. <laughs> right after the turkey comes out, all the side dishes go in. In any of our 30 or 36 inch wall ovens or, or range ovens, you can fit six nine by 13s at one time. So that's six different side dishes that you can have. And that's a lot of food. So that's what's gonna make today relatively easy considering the insane number of dishes that we're cooking. Mac and cheese and the Brussels sprouts right here. We have new guests arriving. Glad you guys could make it here. It should be a perfect time to have a drink if you're well prepared. And that gives be more than enough time to make the great. Not having the right equipment, I think, is probably what made Thanksgiving most difficult for me and my family growing up. I grew up in a house that had one single, non-convection, completely standard electric wall oven. And we did Thanksgiving for between 20 and almost 30 people. It was, it was almost a game to watch it happen. The ovens and the appliances do make it easier. My list, green bean casserole, green bean almond bean, Brussels. I'm gonna eat a little bit early. When was the last time that happened on Thanksgiving? Look at that, that's a feast fit for a king. <laughs> so with a little bit of planning ahead of time, shopping a couple days ahead of time, doing all the slicing and dicing the day before, you can put out two kinds of turkey and 10 side dishes 13 minutes early as opposed to an hour late. It's not too difficult. And now we're gonna destroy this. Ready? All right, well, grab, grab a plate and uh, let's go. This is how you do Thanksgiving. Cheers to the chef.